Hello everybody, um, this is part of a series I'm working on uh, to help me find work, um, but also to help other people um, in the process. So basically, uh, this is about some mapping uh, and using maps uh, to help us understand the work environment uh, near us as well as uh, relatively far from us. Um, in this case, you can see, um, you know, there's a few hundred miles uh, between Seattle, um, almost 500 plus, um, between Seattle and where I live. I live out here in this region here where there's basically farming and there's basically no farming uh, in Seattle or Portland. So um, basically you can see um, how that works. So really this is a basic concept, uh, food, clothing, and shelter. So housing uh, also really depends on a lot of the forest out in Idaho. Really it's the last forest um, there is some forest in between uh, can, out in this region and here, but to be honest, a lot of that wood for housing and construction comes from uh, Idaho, uh, as well as food comes from uh, essentially eastern Washington and up here and through Oregon um, and some other areas, but really Idaho um, plays a huge role. Now, Idaho is really part of a very interesting system of food uh, because basically southern Idaho has a lot almost all the food um, there's a little portion along here that's part of Idaho that actually has quite a lot of food as well uh, and then down into here that's kind of Lewiston area um, and the Palouse so uh, that that's a lot of food uh, but really uh, it's about maybe a third uh, to a half of the food uh, for the entire Pacific Northwest comes from Idaho um, and then the rest is mostly Washington so and then a little bit of Oregon here but then there's actually down here in Oregon that's very rich for uh, uh, a lot of other food you see that wheat primarily it's wheat here because it's a little bit colder um, and then when can, when you get down to California you get uh, quite a significant percentage of the overall food but uh, when it comes to uh, the actual food you can see that a lot of that actually is in canada here um, and again this is corn primarily and wheat um, and not really uh, all the variety of foods that you get so a lot of the specialty foods actually will come from uh, southern united states right along the mississippi river here um, and you can see that here um, primarily uh you know a memphis area is in here and this i think that's memphis airport right there it's probably this is memphis international airport yeah so basically you can see right in that region uh, just west of Memphis uh, and then south and then a little bit north. This is a huge region for farming as well in the United States. Um, but on the west coast, really California is huge. So this branch down here is very important uh, to the work branch in general. So there's a couple key cities that we're going to look at um, as we zoom in here. And here you can kind of see the green map. With the population center so you can see there's quite a lot of population up in spokane uh, and this is kennewick here uh, another major city here portland uh, seattle and tacoma so these are actually divided into two cities it's so large um, and there's actually many other cities around here on the islands as well so the population is pretty significant uh, in seattle uh, relative to uh, pretty much everywhere uh, in the world so what else is going on in these maps that I have pointed out? So I live out here, um, which is kind of the top of this pyramid, but really it's out in here. Uh, this is down down here, south in like a Grangeville area, um, and further south down into Idaho areas. So um, quite a lot of this piece here heads down south into that uh, Boise area, um, which is actually another um, one third to one half of all this area so this whole entire region is basically down there symmetric but you can't really see it on this map but you can kind of start to see it here on this map uh because you can start to see this whole food chain here and i'll zoom in just to see so you can see that area a little bit more clearly um, and there's actually quite a lot of food out here in montana um that's quite significant but this is a lot of cattle uh again and it's not always the diversity of foods that we would really want. Anyway, I'm gonna stop the normal stream here and take a break uh, from this, um, but if you need, I'd be glad to go through uh, some more details with you. Just uh, send me a text or email, uh, and then we can get you uh, going with all the other conversations that we're gonna be having about this. Thanks so much, see you later. Now, um,
after all that said, I would say there's also the international work uh, question. So um, that's kind of like local work within the United States. Um, we can use maps like that um, to kind of better understand locally uh, for sure what we're trying to do. So if I live here, we can see other kind of points in that map area. I've also added two new things onto this, um, rivers of North America, as well as hydrological basins of the world. Now this is smaller, you can see there's a lot of little rivers here um, that really matter a lot. So um, for example, if I zoom in here, you can start to see, it really helps on the type of map that you have. Um, but I live right over here and you can see that a lot of that river is heading down south into Lewiston. Um, so that means that probably the business is right over in that region. Now, and then I add the hydrological basins of the world map here, and you can see, whoa, oops, that kind of messes things up. Um, but uh, hydrological basins of the world, you can see that it kind of really changes everything about the region. So like, for example, I live in this region, it's actually part of a different hydrological basin. It actually flows down this way. Um, so in some ways, yes, Lewiston has that river system right here, um, which you can see here, rivers in North America. So I turn it on and then off, and you can see that river here, Palouse River actually heads out into these regions here. It may mean more of Kennewick, but actually this also means Kennewick as well, um, because it's all part of the same hydrological basin. If you zoom out uh, further, let me show you that really quick. So on this map, you can see I cleared out all that other data here, and you basically see where that hydrological basin is. So basically, we're not even part of the Seattle Basin. We're actually more part of the Portland area, so that means, well, work more with Portland uh, in general than Seattle, and Seattle is more of a different case entirely. And then further south, you can kind of see California, um, but there's quite a lot of diversity in crops here, making California extremely